Grab a notebook, grab a pen Do your homework and tell a friend Know all the answers and buzz them in Who knows it better, you or them It's the cooking classroom, now let's begin Now, here's the host of the classroom, Richard Curtis Pass it down, Colin Yep, there it is, what's up guys? Shaq and Grace and our teachers Whoa, are we all wearing blue today? Yes, we are. Good to see you guys. Check this out. We have our students. We have our teachers from St. Catherine Drexel Catholic School in Bucks County. They just entered the classroom. We have students, we have teachers, and the students today, they're fighting for the right to say that they're smarter than their teachers. Hey, you got people cheering them on too. Look at these guys out in the crowd. I'm loving the pom-poms. It's winner take all tonight. $500 cash and bragging rights before we even meet our contestants. We have to see who studied. We're going for a pop quiz. Okay, guys, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to bank you 10 points for your team. If you buzz in first, just wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, contestant from the other side is going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. I'm the teacher today, guys, and I'm calling it right now. This pop quiz starts right now. What is the first and last name of the founder of Philadelphia? <laughs> Mr. Fleming. Ben Franklin. <laughs> Students for the steal, Colin. William Penn. There he is, nicely done, good steal. A professional ice hockey game is usually divided into three 20 minute intervals called what? Mr. Fleming. Periods. Good job. What term do we use for animals that are awake and active at night then sleep during the day? Mr. Fleming. Uh, <laughs> nocturnal. There he goes, good job. Count Olaf was the name of the villain in what Lemony Snicket series? Mrs. Vanderkroon. Series of unfortunate events. Good. How many milliliters are in seven liters? Jack? 700. Sorry, Jack. Teachers for the steal? I don't know. We were looking for 7,000. Jack, you were very close there. What is the name of the mountain chain that runs through the east coast of the United States from Maine to central Alabama? Mr. Fleming? Appalachian. Good. Extra credit question here, guys. Double points. What bird represents Philadelphia NFL team? Mrs. Vanderkroon. The Eagle. Good. In the 2018 movie, what is the first and last name of Venom's host and alter ego? Eddie Brock was the right answer there. What chewy candy brand released a limited edition all pink pack in 2017? Grace. Starburst. My favorite kind of pack. Over a long period of time, while under extreme pressure, graphite turns into what precious mineral? Mr. Fleming. Diamond. Good. And that is it for Pop Quiz. Wrap it up. Tie it like a bow. We're done. Scores. Teachers, 70 points. Students, 20. And we're off to a great start today. We have the students and teachers from St. Catherine Drexel School in Holland, Pennsylvania. Let's say we meet some of our players over here today. Grace, how are you? Welcome to the show. 500's on the line today. If you win, where's it gonna go? For a popcorn machine in our cafeteria. What? Yes! That's the greatest thing I've ever heard. You guys want unlimited popcorn, right? All yes. right, well, man, now all of a sudden I want you to win, but good luck. Uh, so you're an eighth grader? Mm -hmm. Favorite class in school now, what is it? Math, because it's my best subject. Yeah, right, you're gonna always gravitate towards you're good at. Two times four. Eight. Yeah, <laughs> under pressure and gets it. All right, good to see you. Jack Attack, man. Good to see you, too. Uh, eighth grader. Yeah. You uh, you kind of a worldly traveler, though? Uh, yeah, just recently I went on a trip to Rome. That's wild. By yourself? No, with my family. I was going to say, I hope not, Jack. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> Coolest thing about Rome, for someone who's never been there? Uh, Pompeii. Right, and it's not an active not, volcano. No, if it no. was, you were like, peace, I'm out of here, guys. <laughs> all right, well, good to see you, Jack. And all the way down, his name's Colin, but he goes by Coolin, because he's the coolest guy I know. Eighth grader, you've been some cool places, too. What's your favorite? Uh, I went to Italy when I was one and a half for my aunt and uncle's wedding. You must have partied, huh? I don't remember it. Italy, you, one and a half. It doesn't get any better than that. 500 bucks, guys, is on the line. More importantly, a popcorn machine for the cafeteria. And I'm coming if you guys win that thing. Good luck today. <laughs> 
Well, 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 looky who's here. It's the three people that don't want a popcorn machine. No. What are you, crazy? Mrs. Vanderkrone, good to see you at 500. What are you guys playing for? We are playing for a flat screen TV in our faculty okay, room. Okay, both sides. Good stuff. I like it. Uh, you are the swim coach. You got a big weekend this weekend. Yes. I, I coach at North Penn, and my high school swimmers are competing at states and killing it right now. All right. Well, go right. Knights, go. All right, Mrs. Reese, seventh and eighth ELA science teacher. Uh, you have all three of these guys yes, over here. Yes, I do. All right. So, tell, like, what are we looking at? Who's the big guy? We're going to say this could be the winner. Well, actually, you know what? These two boys put poor Gracie on the spot here. So I think Gracie's going to run. She's the got team. the captain. Yeah, oh, nice. Gracie. Okay, Gracie. All right, Gracie. Big news. Check out this. We have fourth grade teacher, Mr. Fleming. When I think fourth grade teachers, this is a guy, kind of guy I look at. Never stop smiling right here, Mr. Fleming. Why not? Yeah, good to see you. Uh, and you're lucky enough, you got to spend some time with your daughter. Yes, I did. So you were, uh, what, what exactly, how'd you do it? Uh, stay at home, Dad. You know, uh, for for when she was born until she was uh, ten. Right. So wow. So it was uh, quite a quite an experience. And now you're back in the fourth grade yes, classroom. Yes. Yes. Do they give detentions out in fourth grade? No, they don't. So today is a big day I just for get you. Looks. Yeah. Right. That's yeah. all it takes. Hairy eyeballs. That well, today it. we're going to give you the shot to send cool. these three into detention. Let's play. Mm. All right. Yay! Come on. Okay, guys, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. We have the trailing team a category. You're going to have 10 seconds to decide whether you want to play or if you want to pass it to the other side. Choose to play. You answer the question correctly. You can send any member of the other side to detention. But if you get it wrong, be careful because you could be walking to detention yourself. You pass. They have to answer the question. Same elimination rules apply. The first team to send everyone to detention is going to get 40 points for this round. Students, we're trailing a little bit, so we're going to get to you guys first. Let's get that 40 points here. Your category is space. Play. The four inner planets of the solar system are Mercury, Earth, Mars, and what other planet? Venus. Venus is going to get you an opportunity to send your teacher to detention. Okay, all about strategy here, guys. Who are you going to send to detention? Mr. Fleming. Mr. Fleming. Sorry, pal. The phlegm gets out of the game early. i got to be honest. I've never been so sad to see somebody go to detention. <laughs> but your mic is now officially off, and you're not allowed to play. So we're going to keep her moving, Mr. Fleming. Enjoy detention. <laughs> As we go to literature, pass or play? I don't, what do you want to do? Should we, Let's we should pass it. We're going to pass it. We're going to pass it. <laughs> We're going to send it to you guys. Okay. Good luck. They don't think you know it, so get them here. What classic children's tale by Kenneth Graham tells the adventures of several animal friends in the English countryside, including Mole, Ratty, Mr. Toad, and Mr. Badger? You can talk about it. I'm <laughs> great. They're drawing a blank here. Grace, anything? No. The Wind in the Willows. That was a I nice pass that. by our teachers. Did you guys know that one? No. So no. that was a good pass by you guys. Hey, good pass. So now you get to send a student to detention. Who's oh. it going to be? Who do you think? Jack. Jack. Jack Sorry, out of the game. Jack. Sorry, pal. Head to detention. <laughs> you are the next one taking a seat. All right, students, back to you. Here's your category, animals. Colin Grace, here you go. A filly is a term to describe what young female animal? You can talk about it. A horse. A horse is right. There you go. Colin and Grace, nicely done. They're already in conversation because you know what's coming up next. I have two in detention. Someone else is going to go. Miss V. Miss Vanderkrone, out of the game. <laughs> Another one heads to detention. <laughs> it never gets old seeing a teacher go to detention. <laughs> All right, get comfortable over there, Mrs. V, as we go to our category. Video games. Pass. <laughs> Here we go, Kyle and Grace, good luck. What video game follows a young man named Wander who must defeat 16 giant beasts in order to restore the life of a girl named Mono? I don't know. <laughs> the Shadow of the Colossus, Wander and the Colossus. Great game. Uh, you guys clearly don't mm -hmm. play it, though. So that means that's a great, great move by Mrs. Reese. What do we have next? Um, 
Colin. She's deep in thought. Colin, sorry, pal. Uh, <laughs> okay, it comes down to this. It's a packed house over there. There's no more room. So two people are getting out of detention here next. Grace, here we go. Category is the calendar. Pass. <laughs> what special name is given to a year with 366 days? Leap year. Leap year is right. Grace knew it and she passed it. Grace, I'm sorry, you gotta go to detention. Teachers, you are dismissed. Hey, don't go anywhere, some of our contestants. They're headed to the study hall next, right after the break. Teachers are loving being out of detention. to the classroom. Today we have students and teachers from St. Catherine Drexel Catholic School in Bucks County going head to head. The scores, teachers a little bit in the lead right now, 110 points to the students, 20. They just missed out on those 40 points for detention. They're going to look to swing the game back in their favor right here as we go into study hall. Okay, guys, here's how the game works. We're gonna select one player from the opposing team to enter study hall. Those players are gonna have 10 seconds to study a photo. I'm gonna ask three questions about that photo one at a time, and both players are gonna have five seconds to write down your answers on the chalkboard. When time's up, you'll reveal your answers. Each correct answer is gonna bank you 10 points. So teachers, look at the students. Students, look at the teachers. Who's going to study hall? All right, we got it. They were adding the two. Here we go, what do you think? We choose Colin. Colin, oh. stay right there. Coolin, <laughs> who you guys sent it back? Mrs. Reese. Mrs. Reese, Colin, let's go to study hall. Come on. <laughs> Colin, Coolin. Yeah, Mrs. Reese, you want to play or do you? That's all right, we'll play for you, we'll play for you. All right, good to see you guys in study hall. Remember, this is all about studying, so you're gonna look at that photo up there. You're gonna have 10 seconds on the clock, and it starts right now. Ten seconds, bring it down. Five seconds to write down your answers, guys. Good luck. According to the warning label, this toy is not for children under how old? Hey, this isn't working. <laughs> Take the cap off. There she is. That's a teacher oh for us. All right, guys, here we go. Let's see these answers. <laughs> she did not the cap on. Five years and three years. Let's see the right answer. Three years is the answer. Teacher strike. Colin missed that one, but that's okay. Because we have question number two. I might minus five points just for having the cap on there. Here we go. What word is in the hot pink on the packaging? Here we go. Reveal your answers. We have the number one and warning. Let's see who is right. Fun was the right answer, so nobody was right on this one. <laughs> the number one, very close. Okay, guys, I hope you're playing along at home. Let's get to question number three. Last one. The toys are on the tablecloth. That is green, and what other color? Five seconds. Okay, let's see these answers. We have white and pink. The correct answer is White is the answer. How about it? Teacher yeah. strike again. <laughs> Colin, it was a rough yeah. study hall for us. Yeah. That's all right. We're more class guys anywhere. And the good news is we're taking a field trip next. So hop on the bus because we're jumping in and we're cramming for the final exam at the end of the show. We'll see you right after the break. This is some energy in here. Hey, welcome back to the classroom. Today, we have students and teachers from St. Catherine Drexel Catholic School in Bucks County. Hey, cheerleaders, you guys having a good time today? Yeah. Yeah, yeah now that is some pipes right there. Nicely done. Alex, you go to school here? Mm -hmm. What grade are you in? Six. Sixth grade. Do you think your friends can come back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? They got to get the right answers. Izzy, you go to school there too. What grade are you in? First. First grade. Yes. And what is your favorite thing about school? 
Recess. Recess is my favorite too. Izzy, guys, you know what time it is. We all got to get on the bus because we're taking a field trip. Let's go. <laughs> Izzy loves everything. That's what we learned right there. Grab your buzzers, guys. Today we're taking a field trip to the Museum of the American Revolution. I love this place. To test your Revolutionary War knowledge, the first person to buzz in, guys, correctly identify what's going on. They're gonna get 10 points for their team. If you buzz in, you get it incorrect, a member of the other side can jump in there and steal those points. Today, well, we're going somewhere. Who do you get? You get the best bus driver in the world, Sue Serio from Fox 29's Good Day Philadelphia, to ask the question. So, Sue, we're on the bus. Let's take a trip. Richard, we're outside of one of Philadelphia's newest museums, and if you haven't checked it out yet, you really should. It's the Museum of the American Revolution, which leads us to our first question. The Revolutionary War began with the battles of Lexington and Concord. The question is, in which state did those battles take place? Jack. Virginia. Virginia, incorrect, not gonna get you the points. Teachers for the steal. Mr. Fleming? Vermont. Vermont, incorrect as well. Massachusetts was the right answer there. Nice try as we move into Sue Serio with our second question of the field trip. A number of European countries assisted us during the Revolutionary War, including Spain and the Netherlands. But which country gave us the most support? Mr. Fleming. France. France is right. Strike again. Teachers up to 140. They're on a massive tear right now as we get into our last question on this field trip. Sue, one more. And question number three is, what was the official name of the army of colonists led by this guy, General George Washington? Buzzer stay silent. We were looking for the Continental Army. Hey, Sue did a great job down there at the brand new Revolutionary War Museum. Big thanks to her for jumping on the bus and driving us very safely. Hey, the score is teachers, 140 students. They're with 20, but they know that's coming up next. 300 points is still left for them to grab in the final exam. <laughs> Okay, topic today is oopsie daisy. That means each question has something to do with flowers. I'm gonna ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic, guys. Each correct answer is gonna get you 100 points for your team. No writing quite yet. How about we give you these questions right now? Here's your first question. What is the powdery substance found in flowers that can be spread by wind or insects to allow plants to reproduce? Oopsie daisy, question number two, poppy and holly are flowering plants and the names of Rapunzel's twin daughters featured in what fashion doll franchise that has inspired a web series, a film, and a book series. Finally, 100 points, here you go. In a phenomenon known as heliotropism, young flowers move throughout the day to always face what? Okay, we know the questions each team has 60 seconds, and that is it to come up with their answers. In just a couple of minutes, we're gonna see which team puts it all together here. Can the students have a miraculous comeback? The only way to find out is joining us right after the break. Hey, you can be the next school featured right here on The Classroom. Here's how you can do it. Does your school want to be part of a game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Classroom. Today we have students and teachers from St. Catherine Drexel Catholic School going head to head. Hey, the teachers, they said, yes, we can. They came out on fire and it stayed that way throughout this game, 140 for them. Students, we're looking to get back into it. And here's the great thing. We have 300 points in the final exam that could all be yours. The topic today, final exam, oopsie daisy. And we're not talking about falling down, people. We're talking about flowers. How well do you know them? Well, we're gonna find out. Three questions on the board. 100 points for each correct answer you give me. 
Don't forget, you get it wrong, no points lost, but no points gained. You take that money, we have a popcorn machine for the students. And the teachers, well, they're going for a flat screen television. <laughs> Let's see who's getting their item. What is the powdery substance found in flowers that can be spread by wind or insects to allow plants to reproduce? Students, coolin', we're going to you, my dude. Right there. Pollen. There he goes, yeah. He didn't want to say it. He's like, guys, I'm just going to show you my answer. Teachers, we're going to you next, Mr. Fleming. You said? Pollen. Pollen. There he is. What are those initials, Mr. Fleming? What's that? What are those initials? That's SKD. Who's that? That's us. What's that? Oh, yeah, SKD. Same okay, Catherine there Drexel. it is. You learned something new. Here we go. Poppy and Holly are flowering plants and the names of Rapunzel's twin daughters featured in what fashion doll franchise that has inspired a web series, a film, and even a book. Okay. Here we go. Teachers, we're going to start with you. Mrs. Reese, you said? Holly Hobby. Holly oh. Hobby. Incorrect. Yeah. I've never even heard of that. Was that really? a oh. Holly Hobby? Oh. Yeah, I'll okay. have to check it out back after in, the show. The 70s. Here we go. Oh, Students, no. here's how it works out. You get this right, you stay in the game, we'll go to question three. But if you get this wrong, teachers are getting a flat screen television. Jack, let's see. What'd you say? Rose. Oh, Jack, hate to do it, it's ever after high. And you know what that means. How about that flat screen TV, teachers? Let's give you the check. Hey, phenomenon of heliotropism, that's the sun. The flower follows it everywhere, like you guys, following this show. Join us again. We got another episode of The Classroom. Can't wait to see you guys. Thanks for being here. My cooling, Jack and Grace. Great job today, guys. I'll tell you what, I'm getting you a popcorn machine. Let's go. We need it for the school.